Okay, so Robin opens up about the friend. So it was a close friend, male friend. Um, and oh, probably should have said, "Hey, y'all, this is the Real Housewives of Potomac." <laughs> I didn't just jump straight into this shit. Like I didn't even give y'all introduction. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But um, it opens up with Robin picking up. Well, it picks up where it left off. Robin talking about the male friend they had it was very close to them, and um, I guess someone pitched them an idea, whatever. Uh, it was like a proposition, so, uh, something like that. And he began to kind of swindle and steal their money. And when they finally realized what had happened, it was too late, and he pretty much took everything that they had. And you know, it's very sad to hear. And there is a good chance that even though, and here's the thing, I like Robin, so I don't want anybody to say what I'm about to say the wrong way. If you do, I mean, I really give two shits, but I think there's a good chance that Robin is on here to clear her name or even just to kind of, you know, kind of like wash that away. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is, but like I said, I like Robin. She is the most down to earth of all of them. So, you know, shit, I want Robin to win. Okay, I really want Robin to win. Uh, so Katie didn't really want to talk about anything. So if I'm not mistaken, I think by Giselle, she was asked if, uh, you know, what's hood with the event and, you know, pretty much, you know, I got some new people. So Robin asked, okay, you know, are, you know, pretty much like asking, you know, to, for some clarity and whatnot. And she, you know, she being Katie is like, well, don't worry about it. Like, damn. I know Robin looking like, I ain't did shit to you. You know what I'm saying? I think Robin kind of says that she had, like, where the issue lies, but it's like, it's not with me, but whatevs. And then uh, Giselle begins to ask her, you know, like, were you on something, you know, a while back? And I will say, even though it was Brene, I think that's how you say her name, that brought up the issue first, I think the way in which Giselle came about it, it did not come off as being sincere. So... And Katie felt some kind of way. So the next day, uh, Brene and uh, Sharice talked to her about the situation. And, you know, Giselle, like, well, I heard my name, what to do? And they start tiptoeing around the whole, well, you were making shit comments about shit. But then, you know, eventually, like, well, you kind of went in a little bit on Katie. And, you know, Katie, instead, because Katie didn't say I had an issue with you. And instead of addressing it, then, and I'm not saying, here's the I'm never going to tell somebody when they need to address an issue, because I'm never going to do that, because I feel you address it when you want to. But to be sweet, nasty, you know, passive aggressive and say, well, I don't say nothing when you do this and have all these different sex partners and whatnot, it's like, if you finna do it, just go there. You feel what I'm saying? So, but at the same as that time, I'm not here for Giselle, and I feel that, you know, what she did was wrong, and I do agree with Karen. Never thought I would say that. The timing was wrong. And it can come off the wrong way. So this episode is picking up. Uh, Renee decides to go talk to Katie. And it's pretty much telling her she needs to learn. Well, she needs to check. Um, uh, check Giselle and learn how to read her. Now, it's one of those where I agree. But it's one, it's one of those where it's just like. <clears throat> I would have appreciated it better had she said. You know, if there is an issue, then at some point when you feel the time is right, you should talk to her about it. But and and even though check is a good word to use, the issue that I have with it, y'all have to excuse me, I'm trying to upload this video at the same exact time. But the main issue that I have with it is like you're putting a battery in this girl's back. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's all, I, I get you building somebody up, but you don't put a battery in somebody's back because you never know how the fuck that shit is going to play out, you know? But I will say I do agree with what Karen said, not necessarily about Giselle, but just in general. And I hopefully we all take this. You have a lot of people that um, when you give them an audience or when they have an audience, they will sit here and they will perform. They will tap dance and do the utmost. But when it's a one on one, that true person will come out. And that's when it's like, OK, they simmer the fuck on now. You feel me? So y'all, y'all take that. I mean, okay, Karen gave me Karen gave me two lines uh for this season. You know, that one and you know, people come for me all the time, they just never find me. Now they do a little dress up photo shoot type thing, like, you know, throw back like the whole you know, the uh Wild West type, you know, saloon thing, which was nice. And it got them all to have a good time. And Katie no, 
yeah, Katie felt that was the best time to talk to Giselle. I didn't think that is it. If everybody's having a good time, not the time to do it. I mean, of course, if you're going to address the issue, probably best address it while you guys are still where you're at. That really wasn't the best time. And at the same exact time, you, you pull her away, but y'all still amongst everybody. You know, I didn't like that shit either, but I will say this. Katie, check that ass. Like, this will not happen again. I was like, well, damn. All right, shit. All right. This will happen when you get a battery put in your back now. But, I mean, I understand. I, I truly do understand. So, but, uh, you know, Giselle apologizes and pretty much that's the end of that. But we're going to see where this goes. All right, we really didn't get much. They went to lunch, uh, and they just kind of had, like, a little chit-chat, a little talk, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Katie opened up a little bit about her and uh, Andrew really don't care. What I will say, they did talk about uh, prenuptial agreements and whatnot. And I think what was um, funny is, because I, I don't think anybody else, I think a lot of people were kind of salty on um, Ashley. Because Ashley was like, yeah, I got a prenup, but... Uh, you know, it was some shit in the fucking prenup. So even if this marriage dissolves, I'm going to be good. Okay. I'm going to have some wet when I'm done with this. I'm going to have a house, <clears throat> you know, so her whole thing is I may have a prenup, but I'm going to be good at the end. Did y'all see they motherfucking faces? The ones with prenups that ain't getting shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that shit was funny as hell. Okay. So this, this is going to, we're going to have to like really talk about this down below because I know we're all probably going to have like issues with this and I don't know. So before we get into it, they're at the uh, drag show and actually before the drag show, uh, I think they made it a, um, their mission, Bravo, to show um, Ashley talking to her husband because they go there frequently. So when she told him where she was going, he already knew. So now they're at the drag uh, club, um, drag, well, yeah, drag show. I don't know, really know what you call it, but y'all know what I'm getting at. And everybody's having a good time. Everybody is loosey goosey, everything. And uh, one particular person is asking where y'all from, and they, he said Baltimore. He was like, where? They was like, but tell me, he's like, no, because y'all look like y'all from uh, D.C. Southeast. I. <laughs> oh shit. I'm like, you know what? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Sh shade them now. Shade them. And um, let me see. Well, so was it me? Or did that drag queen look like, did it look like Sharice had a twin? And just, I don't know. I'm like, Sharice, get your ass off stage. Now, had they not had them together, I, yeah, I would have went and said some other shit. But all right, now. And Michael shows up. Now, everybody's feeling some kind of way. Now, I do. Uh, okay. Now, this is where the shit gets iffy. It is a girl's trip, yes. Me personally, because it seems like he's going to stay at the house. Me personally, I... How can I say this? Him um, surprising his wife, I'm not against. Him staying there, if it was me personally, I would stay in the hotel only because I don't want to make anyone ever feel uncomfortable. If you know what I'm saying? like in a, in a, Especially in a situation like that. But the reality is that is his house. You feel what I'm saying? Like he paid. Like if the Moy's already paid, that is his. You feel me? And now is it is it asking a lot for the lady to sit here and stay? You know, clothe. It's a lot. It really is a lot. But <clears throat> it's one of those where I think the ladies could have articulated that to her, minus all the attitude. And then you know, Karen said Ray wouldn't approve. I, re I really wanted Ashley to sit here and read the eyes of her. Like, I don't give a fuck about Ray. I'm not fucking, Ray. you know, like, I, I wanted her to give it to her, but she didn't. I was asking for two merch. I was asking for two merch. But we're going to see how this all wrap up. Y'all let me know down below on some real shit how y'all feel about this entire situation. And I know that since most people, most, like, you know, like, the, like over 60% of uh, my viewers are women. I really want to know y'all's opinion. And even if it's any fellas watching, y'all let me know too. All right. So now I am utterly fucking confused. Okay. Because on one hand, so either, I, I don't get it. Are they mad that he's there? Or are they mad at how the fuck she handled it? Like, I, I, I really don't get it. It's like, and then here's the thing. 
y'all, y'all, look, y'all know I got, y'all know I'm crazy shit. Y'all know I got, y'all just know that I'm fucking crazy. And at the same exact time, even though I don't like arguing with women, what the fuck you not finna do is you not finna disrespect me. He is more lighthearted and just like, meh. Because if I was either him or if I was fucking Ashley, this would have been rectified real fucking quick. Um, You know, if you don't like the fact that I'm here, you can easily pack your shit. You can go to a fucking hotel and we could better yet. And I mean, I just would have been a G be like, I will put your ass up in a hotel, but y'all can get the fuck out of my house. Cause what the fuck you not finna do is you not finna disrespect me. You not finna fuck up the aura that's in here. And you damn sure not finna disrespect my wife or flip side. If it was Katie, you not finna disrespect my husband. But again, I want to know how the fuck y'all feel down below, but I'm glad this shit is almost over because they, 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 they about to blow me on this motherfucking Sunday night, y'all. <clears throat> so they're done, and everybody goes home, and that is pretty much it. I mean, it really wasn't a whole lot really left, and the fact that, you know... Well, you know, look, look, y'all. Uh, Uncle Ben's uh, older brother... Is going to try to check Michael next week. Uh, here, if I ain't never seen a motherfucker that was so unbothered, that's fucking Michael. Okay, that's who. That's what. That's who I want to be when I grow the fuck up, motherfucking Michael. Because you know it's a real shit. Michael laughing at their ass just like. <laughs> and. But that's all that I have on some real shit, y'all. Let's go ahead. Let's see the discussion popping down below, y'all. Let me know how y'all feel. Thank y'all for putting up with my ass uh, on this Sunday. Um, the trending topics video that T spelling that personality it it will more than likely be up tomorrow. So if all goes well, I should be able to do my little one two step with it tonight, and then just upload it first thing in the morning. So like I said, but if not, you guys will get it. You know, well before the end of this week. So thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I love all of you. And yeah, that's all I got. Peace.